Hello, welcome back. This is Dave Briner from Synergist Technologies. Today I'd like to talk about um, importing 3D points from Excel into Inventor. I know this is a little bit of a narrow topic, um, maybe very specific or specialized, but if you have a need to do this, uh, th I find um, some of the things we're going to talk about invaluable. Uh, you'll see on this screen, uh, this is um, in a previous life, I had to do some somewhat complicated and, and accurate uh, piping layouts. Um, they had to have slopes. They were laid out in a pati uh, very particular manner. Uh, we used to actually start with um, some layouts, uh, conceptual layouts in AutoCAD. And um, what we did, uh, auto the AutoCAD drawing allowed me to specify uh, certain points and that worked out um, rather well for me so uh, you can see that we used to sit there and uh, map the coordinates of all the points um, this one is a little bit different uh, let's see uh, this one here I used to name every point and then give it its X Y and Z coordinates across the top and um, it, it, it worked uh, I mean it took a little while to get used to but it really worked rather well so um, I like to step through some of the possibilities. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is um, is the inventor offering, and then there's two other packages on how to import these points. So um, let's. Uh, I'm just going to start a um, a part, and uh, in this sketch, I'm going to uh, at least for. Uh, inventor uh, this process every every one of these packages or three of them each one has its own specific um, step through so for inventor you have to start a 3d sketch and then you're going to come down here to the insert panel and here are um, the points and it's going to ask you to import a uh, an Excel file now uh, one of the things I played with this for I don't know, 10-15 minutes I couldn't get it to work and nowhere in the help does it specify that you must use an XLSX file format you cannot use the XLS so that in itself was a bit of a uh, a learning curve and uh, that was not spelled out anywhere so uh, the other thing is um, the format uh, it does not allow uh, a naming convention and nor does allow the XYZ header up top. Um, some of these packages allow that, others don't. So it, it runs out in the format of uh, column A is X, column B is Y, column C is uh, Z, and it really ignores everything else. So uh, here it is, I, this is my XLS, and I'm gonna use the same numbering format for each one. But So what I'm gonna do is select that file, and one cool thing that Autodesk has done with this, and I wish some of the other packages had it, but it does not. So I select the file, I'm going to choose options, and it gives you the option just create points. It gives you the option to create the points and also create lines in between the points. Or you can create a spline. Uh, for this demo, I'm just going to stay with creating lines. And uh, I'm going to say OK. I'm going to say open. Now, if I look at the screen, this is another negative for the inventor package. Um, I can't tell that anything's happened. So um, it doesn't give you uh, the names of the points. It doesn't tell you imported points. So I have to stop the sketch and then zoom all. And there it is. So it did a nice job. It imported the points just like I, asked, like I wanted. And it put a line in between each one. Um, I can go in, I can certainly edit this and uh, let's just put a six inch radius on these. And this would be again if I was doing a piping run here, um, a short radius elbow or whatever it may be, and it works fine. I mean, uh, from this point on. Now, the other point is I can't, you know, I, I, I got here and uh, I can commit not, let's say I'm going to edit this point. So I can say, um, 3D transform. That's the only thing it's really offering me. Now I can change right now. It's, uh, it's the X. I can change it to uh, the Z or 
the Y or whatever just by clicking on it and it'll uh, select that direction but um, and I can enter in a value so if I want to go up um, six inches I can type it in and it'll go up um, now I'm not even sure what it's done there so it's um, it gives you a couple other options but it's it could be a little bit cleaner I think um, so let's uh, let's compare this to a few others so what I did before I started this is I loaded in um, individual basic application I loaded in the two IVB um, projects so they're both right here one is read 3d points and the other one's import coordinates so both of my uh, projects are lo uh, are loaded so uh, they're ready to go uh, let's see for this one it's gonna be uh, I've used this one this is an old one I've used this um, boy, I don't know, 10 15 years it was, it was uh, created back in 2004 uh, I don't know if I could even tell you um, who created it but so I just bring it up and I can just um, bring up the part I don't even have to have the sketch active so let's just take a look at what I have here and uh, again I'm just gonna on this one this is a format I can have a header in here that says a B um, or XYZ and name I don't really uh, but it's uh, of the format that the first column is a name and then X Y and Z so uh, this is the format for this one uh, I'm going to my tools and macros and you'll see that this one is loaded and ready to go I'm just gonna select run it's gonna ask me to select the file and again for each and every one of these uh, it requires that you have the first it's gonna take the first tab only so whatever tab is active up front and the saved is the one it's going to import from so I'm just gonna say open and there it goes now <clears throat> because this program is so old <laughs> I don't know it has this proclivity of adding in extra points right over the origin so all these work points it's usually between 8 and 10 load in right over top of the origin uh, I just select them and delete not a problem so here they are if I zoom there are my points now um, this doesn't have a function where it automatically connects so basically uh, it's not a big deal I I just go back start a 3d sketch I'm going to choose a line command and I'm just going to click on each point and then say okay and there I have it so yes it's a little bit extra step but I really sacrifice that for the point the fact that I have my points laid out and named uh, just like the other one I can go in and select my radius and can I add my bends Uh, and I can finish sketch so uh, there you have it and that's now I this one also I can right click on any point and say move and rotate which is a little bit different from translate but um, this one here I just a little bit careful with like all of them uh, if I grab um, the indicator and I'm just gonna say the Z indicator uh, and I drag it it's gonna drag whatever I want to whatever dimension it you kind of rest on this is you let go it re zeros which I'm not real crazy about so I always make sure I just click on it enter in an exact a precise dimension and then click and it'll enter it in real nice so this is real nice if I have to go back uh, back and forth to an Excel now the one bad thing is as soon as the program runs it closes Excel so um, it, that one ends up being um, just a little bit too much back and forth sometimes if you have to edit and uh, change it back and forth so I can come in here and I can make sure that I can um, compare my dimensions with whatever um, with whatever I have right now so sometimes you work these back and forth 
Um, the third one is, um, it's a nice package also. Uh, I'm going to um, start a sketch. Now this one's a little bit on the odd side. Uh, I'm going to leave it right where it is in a 2D sketch. Now I'm bringing in 3D points, but the 2D sketch must be open. Now this program, uh, it's called Import Coordinates, and it'll import an XLS or an XLSX, so it gives you a little bit more latitude. Um, so let's, um, oh, the, uh, the other thing is, let me see, here's, I'm going to bring this one up, I'm going to drag it forward. This one's a little bit different, it's kind of opposite the previous one where it's X, Y, Z, and the name is in uh, the fourth column, which to me it seems a little bit more logical layout. Um, and you can certainly have, uh, insert a row here and put those labels up there, uh, you'll see in a moment. Um, why that's not a big issue so I can certainly insert and I can put in here um, you now this isn't this isn't anything that's going to be it's going to really affect the program and I can just so um, you can put these in here and um, it certainly can help you with um, keeping track of what's what so I'll just save that and I'm gonna I'm in my sketch I'm going to go to my tools macros now if you remember I told you this was already loaded so I'm gonna come in here and this is the one it's module one import chords so all I'm gonna do is say run and this is a nice uh, screen however there's a couple things I'm not really crazy about on this but and the one is you have to you have to enter in a lot of things but it's not that critical so I'm going to import 3D coordinates, so activate my Z, and I'm going to use the names in my fourth column. So now I have column 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, here's another setting, row 2, and if I look at my Excel, that's why the XYZ doesn't matter. I'm going to start with 2, end in 8. Um, if you forget this, you're going to be clicking no or something from 8 through 50, because it's going to look for all of them. Uh, I'm going to just choose 8. Now here, this this one is one that kind of annoys me. It's it's looking for a millimeter, uh, centimeter scale factor, I think. So we have to use uh, 2.54 as a conversion factor. Um, but regardless, I mean, this has to be done for every time you want to import something. I'm just going to say OK. And there it is. Uh, it brings everything in, closes a sketch, and it inserts a 3D sketch. So you'll see right away there my points are there. I'm going to activate my 3D sketch. I'm going to click on my line and just like the previous one, I'm going to select every point. And I can go in just like the others and I'll select each point. there it is so this one works just as well I can say uh, finish and I can also go in here and this also has my move rotate instead of the translate and in the same fashion I would click on uh, the Z translate it six inches in the Z direction easy easy to um, to change some of the coordinates and again I have um, I have my coordinate names here. I can compare these coordinate positions to my XYZ. So this is coordinate 2. You can see that 70625 and a negative 8. So I can compare the positions um, as I have them. And this works out really well. Um, I didn't see this in my example for um, my inventor. I mean, I can't get um, my. I can come in here and uh, I'll just say it at the 3D sketch and on the 3D translate you can see there's no option for the move. It doesn't give me all of my coordinates, my X, Y, Z. It doesn't tell me where I am now and I find that as a major drawback. So this is something, um, unless I'm missing it, the directions in, um, in Inventor weren't real clear. 
I just think this uh, Autodesk could clean this up a little bit, make it a little bit more user friendly. Um, but at least for my money, um, this one right here, this is the import coordinates, and I think this one works probably best out of all of them. It's clean, it's easy to use, it uses the XLS or the XLSX, um, adds the point names, and um, the only thing I don't like, like I told you in that in that previous uh, entry, the data entry doesn't retain some of the settings, especially it doesn't give you an option to check off what you want inches or millimeters or centimeters. So you have to make sure you use that conversion factor. So out of the three, this is the one that I would recommend. Uh, I will add uh, the zip files for the 3D points and the import coordinates um, in the in this um, in this article. So you can uh, download either one of those and uh, give them a try. So um, again, I, this is something that um, if you have a use for, it's invaluable. It, uh, it works real well. And if you have some intricate layouts, uh, you know the, uh, you can use the Excel coordinates, things like that. This can save you uh, a good bit of time and grief. So uh, give it a try. Um, hope it has... Um, Hope uh, you can find a use for it and it makes your life a little bit easier. So, uh, till next time, this is uh, Dave Briner from Synergist. Have yourself a great day.